you know, I do feel that nothing really will tell you that you have a weight problem, like your general practitioner sitting you down and saying, ah, Kathleen, <laughs> you've gone very fat. <laughs> and I remember that day so vividly. It, was, it just really stands out because I walked in, I strutted in feeling quite sexy, actually, because I was going in for the pill. So I strutted in and I was really like, oh, this is great, you know, I'm so feminine. I, I, give us a smear test while you're at it there. <laughs> that would be great. I found if you ever are taken to task about your weight by anybody, what happens is that as they speak, you actually get bigger. <laughs> so I kind of zoned out and all I could hear was, oh, oh, heart disease in your 20s. And by exercise, Kathleen, I mean walking. And all the time, <laughs> I was going. <sighs> <sighs> I just, just imagine what the camera's doing for me. <sighs> <sighs> and I just got to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore. And I said, right, doctor, if you wouldn't mind peeling the chair off me, I have to get to Evans before closing time. <laughs> It's, a, it's really nice, it's really nice to get a clap for that trip because I know a lot of people don't, don't exactly know what I'm talking about. Evans is one of those shops for big, beautiful girls and I love going to Evans. Yeah, I love going because you do tend to feel thinner by looking at the clothes and also, I feel I need to go, ah, there's no need for that now. <laughs> Sympathy is all very well, but I don't need to be patronised. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I find that also it's useful for me to go in every so often so that I know how big I can afford to get <laughs> before I have to stop wearing clothes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thanks. <laughs>